There is a lot going on in the world right now, but one thing still happening this year is the 2020 census. Thanks for watching CBS and Denver. I'm Kelly Worthman and joining me right now is Jerome Garza with the Census Bureau. He's a regional census manager and we're checking in with him today as this is the first year the census is online. So Jerome, how is that going? It is going fantastic. And Kelly, thank you so much. This is the first time that ever we've done the census online and on phone that you can answer it. Two easy ways besides the paper form, which comes to the households. And remember, the census in 2020, 10 easy questions. The first question, what's your name? Jerome Garza. You're there. All right. Now, nine extra questions. We never ask about Social Security number. We don't ask about banking information. And when you answer the census, it's totally confidential. So go right now to www.2020census.gov and answer those 10 easy questions. Jerome, I love how excited you are about the census. And it honestly seems like Coloradans are responding well. Perhaps they're just as excited as you are. So I know we're ahead of the national average when it comes to the response rate. So why is that, do you think? Absolutely. Well, number one, if you look at the census, it's done every 10 years. It is stated in the U.S. Constitution that we shall count all the people that reside in the United States every 10 years, and Colorado has taken it to heart. In fact, they are ranked right now number 17 in the nation as far as answering the census with 62% of the households that have answered the census, which is about, you know, three points above the national average. But this is the key thing, and I want to tell everybody in Colorado right now, 0.1% behind number 16, Pennsylvania. We can take them over tonight. <laughs> Go to and the Internet today, www.2020census.gov, and let's put Colorado number 16. But let's look at some of the cities. In fact, you're doing real good in many of the top four cities in Colorado. Leading the area, of course, is Fort Collins at 66.9%, Colorado Springs at 66.7%, Aurora at 64.3%, and Denver at 61.5% of the households have answered the census. Of course, you can do it online or you can go on the phone, 844-330-2020, and you can answer the 10 questions very easily. In fact, Kelly, how long did it take you to do the census? You know what? I'm so glad you asked me that because I did this for the first time myself this year, and it, it took me less than 10 minutes. And I was so excited to do it because it, it felt like I counted for something, which kind of leads me to my next question for you, Jerome. What does Colorado really have to gain from filling out this census? Two major things, money and representation. The federal government on an annual basis returns in, ex in excess of $675 billion to each of the local communities based on the number of people that answer the census every 10 years. So that's a lot of money that comes back. Number two, representation. The House of Representatives is reapportioned every 10 years. And everyone that's looking at Colorado, you have an opportunity to gain some additional seat in the House of Representatives. That's why it's there. You say, well, Jerome, $675 billion, what does it go for? Is an elementary school important to you? Is a firehouse important to you? Is a hospital important to have in your community? If you answered yes to any of these, that's why you need to answer the census. The funds that come back to the local communities help fund all those activities and many, many more. The roads that you do from your home to retail, a lot of that it comes as a result of answering the census. And, you know, now more than ever, right, Jerome, that we need those schools, we need our hospitals. I mean, there's so much happening in the world. So I think we'd be remiss if we didn't bring up the coronavirus pandemic right now. How has that affected the census turnout? Well, what it's done is we have to change our timelines. Originally, the, uh, everyone was going to have until the end of July to answer, but now we've extended that to the 31st of October, you have to answer the census. But people from Colorado, don't wait, do it today. Go to www.2020census.gov. In addition to that, we've changed some of our procedures as we go out into the field. Originally with uh, our operation update leave, which goes in the rural areas, we originally were going to knock on the door, ask people a couple of questions, and leave a questionnaire. Now what we're doing is we're simply leaving the questionnaire on the front porch. We are supplying uh, masks, uh, 
for all our employees as they go out into the field and ensuring their protection uh, as they go. So we've changed procedures and we're no longer making direct contact with people uh, as we're trying to complete the census. All right, well, Jerome, thank you so much for joining us today. Your energy is, is truly in infectious and I just appreciate your time. And, and of course, we hope more people will, will fill out their census forms. So thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. I'd like to come back in July and tell everyone in Denver that you're not number 17 any longer, you're number one in the nation <laughs> in answering the census. You can do it. Go All right. online, go on the phone, 844-33. 2020 and do it now. All right. I appreciate that so much. And I hope we do become number one by July. Thank you, Jerome. If you want more information on the 2020 census, also you can head to cbsdenver.com.